Joining us this half hour, it is one of the country's most prominent institutions, the Boy Scouts of America. Now, after a number of sexual abuse cases, the Boy Scouts are filing for bankruptcy. In an email sent overnight, the Boy Scouts acknowledged systematic failures in protecting members from abuse. Leaders also pointed out prevention measures have dramatically reduced the number of those cases in recent years. A victim of sexual abuse while in the Boy Scouts spoke out about the bankruptcy filing. It's an admission of guilt. Um, by filing bankruptcy, you're admitting that in all probability you're going to be liable for these victims these documented victims, and it's going to cost you a great deal of money. Tens of millions of Americans have been part of scouting for the past 110 years. Here in the upstate, we asked you what you thought about the news. We also reached out to local councils. Our Henry Coburn joins us live now in our Spartanburg studios with more on that. Hey, Henry. Hey, Ben. So I asked a lot of people for their thoughts on the matter. Most said it was too touchy of a subject to talk about on camera, but it's important to note that local Boy Scout councils will not be affected by the bankruptcy filing. Seven News requested statements from local Boy Scout councils to find out how they will be impacted by the BSA's bankruptcy filing. In short, they won't. Palmetto Council Executive Justin Williams said in a statement, quote, the National Organization of the Boy Scouts of America is the only entity involved in the Chapter 11 filing. The Palmetto Council is separate and distinct from the national organization. Greg Balog from the Blue Ridge Council told 7 News via email, while we understand the economic reasons for the bankruptcy at the national level, the bankruptcy does not have an impact on the local scouting program provided by us in upstate South Carolina. The Boy Scouts of America told 7 News, this is the case across the country. No local councils will be affected, but the reports of sex abuse in the organization has affected the reputation of the scouts. I tell you, it's really, it's a terrible thing. It's really, uh, it's putrid actually. We definitely need to keep a closer eye on what our children are doing and who they're around. That's a definite. I had no idea there was even a, a sex scandal thing out there. You know, I'm sorry for the Boy Scouts, and I'm sorry that a few have ruined the Boy Scouts for the many. Boy Scouts of America told 7 News it, quote, cares deeply about all victims of abuse and sincerely apologizes to anyone who was harmed during their time in scouting. Now, the BSA also says scouting is now safer than ever before. It said about 90% of the pending and asserted claims against it relate to abuse that occurred more than 30 years ago. Henry Coburn, 7 News. All right, Henry, we appreciate it. Uh, the Boy Scouts also published an open letter to victims. We've got a link to that letter on our website, WSPA.com.